In this video, let's take a look at an aircraft which holds world records. An aircraft which looks like it comes straight out of a sci-fi film, in fact it does, and an aircraft which has been adapted for rocket racing. This is also the story of brothers and a man who fought in Vietnam, became a US Air Force test pilot, helped design a weird looking world record setting aircraft and flew non-stop and non-refueled around the world. We are talking, of course, about the Rutang brothers and their Long EZ, an aircraft that has transformed from this into this rocket sporting US mail delivery platform. That's right, your mail delivered by Rocket Power. So inspiring was this that the XPRIZE founder and Reno Air Races tried to start a rocket racing league. Unfortunately, in 2014, that became defunct which is a real shame because I would have loved to have seen that. The Rutang Long Easy has its roots back from the Very Easy E designed by Bert Rutang. The Very Easy E itself was an evolution of the Rutang Very Viggen. Viggen named after a Swedish fighter plane, the Saab 37 Viggen. Bert wanted to design an aircraft that could resist stalls and spins. The Very Viggen took its first flight in 1972 after four years of hard graft in Bert's garage. 600 plans of the Very Viggen were sold, 20 were built and fewer than five remained flying. You can see this aircraft in the sci-fi movie Death Race 2000 and in the EAA Air Venture Museum. So let's take a look at Bert's EZE, which first got airborne on the 21st of May 1975 after only four months of construction this time. Using a Volkswagen engine conversion, Dick Rutan, Bert's younger brother, piloted it to set a distance record for aircraft under 500 kilograms at a 1,638 miles distance. Dick wanted to improve on his brother's designs by pushing them to the limits and thus doing breaking world records to fine tune it into the rocket sporting distance setting incredible aircraft it is today. The very easy aircraft's achievements and unconventional looks helped it to drum up demands, so plans for a home build were created and sold. 300 of these aircraft were flying by the late 1980s, with more Rutang aircraft built than any other home build of the time. So, it's unusual looking, it was designed for store resistance, but was it safe? Well, from 1976 to 2005, it had 130 total accidents. 46 were fatal accidents from a fleet of about 800. So this doesn't indicate that it was any safer than other home builds of the time. The Very Easy has a maximum load factor applied of 2.5 positive G and 1.5 negative G. After the discovery of problems with the Very Easy E wings leading to winglet stalling, at large side slip angles. The range of the Avery Easy E though is 850 miles, which is really impressive. That's about Manhattan to Chicago or London to Mallorca in range. The Long Easy first flew on the 12th of June 1979 and again was sold as a plans only kit plane. The Long Easy is the Very Easy E but scaled up for more cabin space and to fit the more readily available Lycoming engines. The larger size enables more fuel, resulting in, in an insane range increase of 2,010 miles. That's like Manhattan to Salt Lake City or London to Turkey. It's able to fly for 10 hours on 52 gallons or 200 litres, and that will take you to 1,600 miles. If you can cope with being in the cabin for 10 hours, that is. But we know a man who can, more than that in a minute. The cabin itself has the pilot in a semi-reclined position with the side stick controller. The kit build plans were sold from 1980 to 1995 and by 2005 700 long easies were registered by the FAA. Dick, as always wanting to push the designs to the limits, he flew in convoy with Mike Melville around the world in 80 nights in an epic flight called the Spirit of EAA Friendship World Tour. This round the world leg were split up into segments and some of those legs lasted for 14 hours. Speaking of Dick Rutang and records, what a guy. Gaining experience in the US Air Force, 
he flew a McDonald F-101B Voodoo as a radar intercept officer, and he also flew a Northrop F-89 Scorpion. He was also a navigator or navigator of a Douglas C-124 Globemaster II. Mainly though, he saw action in the Vietnam War as one of the original misties of the dangerous and experimental Operation Command Sabre, where he would seek out and mark targets ahead of the following strike package. He flew 325 missions and his F-100 Sabre was hit on one of those missions and he had to bail out, he ejected. And in fact, it wasn't the only time he had to eject. He also ejected over England as his Sabre engine failed. He has been awarded a Silver Star, five Distinguished Flying Crosses, 16 Air Medals and the Purple Heart. And after seeing all this action, he became a test pilot and chief of the training division of the 355th Tactical Fighter Wing and retired from the Air Force in 1978 as a Lieutenant Colonel. Outside of the Air Force, he was also testing aircraft and one of the aircraft that he tested was the EZ Rocket where he set a point-to-point -point distance record for a ground-launched rocket-powered aircraft with a distance of 9.9 .9 miles, which is 16 kilometers, lasting for nine minutes. And this incredible flight, he also delivered mail, becoming the first time that US mail was delivered by rocket power. Another famous record set by Dick and Gina Yeager was the Rutang Voyager famous flight. You might have heard of it, it got loads of coverage at the time, this was a flight where they flew around the world in nine days without stopping or refueling. They covered 24,986 miles. And I highly recommend you check out this video of Dick himself talking emotionally about this adventure. I'll leave a link to this video in the description below my video. Let's take a look at the unusual design of the Long EZ. Clearly, it's got a canard and a swept wing, a bit like a fighter plane like the Eurofighter Typhoon, but that's almost where the similarities end. It is a push design, but it has no tail, so it makes use of wingtip rudders, and it has air brakes, but no flaps. It has two fixed main wheels and a retractable single nose wheel. Let's take a look at the stats. It can carry one pilot and one passenger. Its length is roughly 16 feet with a wingspan of 26 feet. The maximum takeoff weight is 1,325 pounds, that's 601 kilograms, and the fuel capacity of 52 US gallons or 197 liters. The maximum speed is a pretty good 185 miles per hour. The cruise speed is also decent at 144 miles per hour. The range is incredible, it's 2,010 miles as we've mentioned. The service ceiling is also impressive at 27,000 feet and the rate of climb is 1,750 feet per minute. Another claim to fame for this unusual aircraft, albeit a sad one, is John Denver, the famous singer-songwriter unfortunately died in 1997 piloting his Long EZ. It was found not to be an aerodynamic is issue in this case, but one of him reaching for the fuel selector valve mid-flight, which had been moved in his particular aircraft closer to the passenger seat. So it's thought that he accidentally pushed on the right rudder pedal as he struggled to operate that fuel selector valve. Let's take a look at the future of this remarkable design and how it is contributing towards space flights. So if you thought that the Rutan creations looked like spaceships, well, so did I, and so did Sir Richard Branson who started Virgin Galactic with Bert Rutang to take wealthy people with money to burn and a sense for adventure to space and experience weightlessness for about five minutes on a 90 minute flight with a price tag of quarter of a million dollars. That's 175,000 pound. Bert Rutang heads up the technical development team for Spaceship 2 and White Knight 2, which is the mothership. So that concludes my short little video on the Rutang creations and the Rutang brothers. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the like button. It would really help the channel out. I'm trying to bring out more videos about general aviation aircraft and the pilots and the, their achievements and the cool stories that surround these, these aircraft. I don't think it's covered very well on YouTube. So there's a real opportunity to bring some really interesting stories in the form of these videos to you guys, my viewers. 
And if you're interested in Long EZ and you want to try it out in a simulator, I'll just let you know that Microsoft Flight Simulator has it as an additional extra. And if Microsoft Flight Simulator is your thing, I'm going to let you know that I've got a Instagram account where you can follow me every single day on Instagram where I post a picture of all of the cool places that you can see inside of the sim. That concludes the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm going to bring out another video very soon about another interesting aircraft. If you've got any suggestions, then leave a suggestion in the comments. I've been Pilot Mike. Safe flying and I'll see you next time.